Welcome to Cam Look, your daily look inside the collection at the Cincinnati Art Museum. I'm Julie, a Cam docent. Let's begin with a deep visual dive into today, today's painting as I read advice from the artist, Claude Monet. It's Impressionist painting in a nutshell. When you go out to paint, try to forget what object you have before you, a tree, a house, a field, or whatever. Merely think, here is a little square of blue, here an oblong of pink, here a streak of yellow, and paint it just as it looks to you, the exact color and shape, until it emerges as your own naive impression of the scene before you. Monet needs little introduction, as he is arguably the most well-known of the French Impressionist painters. But like many avant-garde artists, his work took a while to catch on with the critics and the public, and he struggled financially for years. When our painting was made in the autumn of 1886, his career was gaining momentum, due in large part to his dealer's success in selling Impressionist paintings to a receptive American market. Just four years after our painting, in 1890, he was able to buy property in his beloved Giverny, where he created his famous garden, haystack series, and water lily paintings. Despite experiencing vision loss in his later years due to cataracts, he continued to paint until his passing in 1926, at age 86. Monet spent his childhood and many working trips at the ports, resorts, and beaches of northern France on the English Channel, where the waters were relatively calm. But as testament to his practice of becoming engrossed in his work, one day while painting on the beach, he was caught by surprise and got tossed by a big wave. He wrote home that he held on to his palette and had blue and yellow paint in his beard, but worst of all, his painting was destroyed. In contrast to those usually calm northern beaches, he made our painting, entitled Rocks at Belle Isle, Port Domois, on a short trip to this tiny island off the west coast of France. There he was enthralled by the intensity of the Atlantic Ocean, staying for two months in terrible lodging, setting out each day in all kinds of weather with his easel and supplies, to capture the seacoast in all its moods. Let's look closely again. Notice how Monet uses the direction of his brush strokes to describe the contours of the rocks and the movement of the water. See how he uses very dark blue and purple instead of black to describe the shadows and the rocks just under the surface. By the way, Go to this painting on the CAM website and you can zoom in on it and spend even more time with Monet's gestures. Remember what Monet said about rendering the exact colors you see? How do the mobs in the rocks relate to the color of the, the light in the sky? And how would the color of the rocks change under a different sky? Where are we, the viewers, in this painting? The horizon is high, with the abstracted rock shapes closely cropped and looming before us. Watch your step, because we are on a cliff looking down at some very cold water, streaming down some very sharp, slippery rocks. Wouldn't want to get tossed around in this water. Yet, doesn't that shimmering light coming from the sky feel optimistic? I come back to this painting often. On one hand, Impressionism is about capturing a fleeting moment in time. On the other hand, these rocks would seem to be as timeless as it gets. It's humbling to consider the relentless sea wearing down these rocks, the earth constantly reinventing itself over an inconceivable span of time. Again, I ask, where am I in this painting? Thanks for sharing part of your day with us, and we hope to see you again tomorrow for another CAM look.